enjoy this highlight video and see what can come out of raking and scraping to pull one's soulful essence up through divine social economic family community order. <laughs> Roots man, he know we're the Belize Vegan Roots. You not hear about we? Oh. We we have a situation where our youth are so disgruntled, they're so dis misdirected, they get no cultural vibrations anymore, and they definitely need something to keep them to give them a focus of attention. So what we need to have, we need more brethren stepping up as father spirits to give guidance and direction. You know, I bring my, my youth back out, you know, they're, they're vegans. They, they eat this, this vegan, the raw living foods, you know, fruits and vegetables and seeds and nuts. That's all they eat, they don't know anything else. And we want to make sure that we spread this idea to the rest of we youth. That's what we got to look at. We, got, we came together today. Uh, with some of these beautiful youth, the ones who are trying to do something. And we got, we got unquestionably one of the toughest basketball players in this country over here in my right hand. He's in my right hand because that's my right hand son. Yes. And then we got the other half of this tantrum right here. And they're coaching and they're working to get these youth to another level. What we're going to do is go out here and enjoy each other. And then we're going to do this some more. And then we get some of the other of we youth and we can do this until we get a new consciousness and our beautiful beliefs. You know we got the feeling about the money back. Resurrecting the sacred ancestral birds on the track. People often express to I grave concerns about the youth, especially concerns about the young males who are facing so many different dangerous influences and life-threatening circumstances these days. However, it is not enough to state the problem without seeking a holistic living solution. And as we know from gardening wisdom, unless one gets to the root cause, the problem will surface again. Thus, it is important to comprehend that the root cause is fueled by a divisive consciousness that destabilizes masculine and feminine relationships. The male, who is the provider of guidance and protection, ends up entrapped within a divisive nature of masculine energy. The so-called Babylon system has many strategies to break and enslave the spirit of the male, reinforcing a broken nature of consciousness. And like it or not, conscious or unconsciously, the female will nurture that lower and lesser nature into her every offspring and vibration, the generation next, will become mesmerized and hypnotized by a low and lesser energy that opposes our sacred ancestral spirit presence as divine children of the sun and the sacred garden culture from which we come. Excuses do not resolve the problem. Excuses only causes the problem to continue. Therefore, we must address the critical need to detox, purge, and heal masculine and feminine relationships. The masculine he must focus on resurrecting divine socioeconomic family community order if he truly desires to survive as a species upon Mother Earth. Obviously, she's in a critical state too, but that is the subject for later. Right now, we're talking about the masculine he as the guiding and protecting nature of energy. This is where we must begin to affect whole life change if we ever expect to be affectionately nurtured by the ancestral sheep. 
and the kind of whole life healing that is necessary at this point in time upon the planet Earth can only be accomplished when he and she align with the divine guiding, protecting, and nurturing energy of the sacred order of the Ankh. Divine consumption, fruits of the tree, divine union of masculine and feminine energy as he and she, and the forward multiplication of divinity into every offspring and vibration of the generation next through divine socioeconomic family community order. Those who are not about this will definitely function in opposition to debunk, discredit, and otherwise dismiss the holistic living nature of this supreme truth. What the I and I know for a fact is that children learn by example and not by words. So we are about providing life-affirming examples. One of the I and I youth and his two younger brothers are such an example. What are At 14, the oldest of the three, he has developed as one of the most focused and skilled young basketball players in Belize, Central America. Playing on a jungle clay court, sometimes barefoot, and in between time for academic classes, reading, writing, arithmetic, and earth science. That forwards a practical, raw and living garden culture experience. The I and I were reared up in an entirely different time birthed at the conclusion of World War II, brought up dealing off the grid for real, planting and tilling the field. When it came time for exercising our athletic skills, we simply created from what we had. These are the basic values that have been forwarded into the Quatamani Divine Social Economic Family Community Order. And as such, the youth have learned firsthand to create from what we have. It is in the plans to create a full covered court simply because living in the rainforest, a court will need to be covered in order to enjoy daily multi-purpose activities that has manifested and continue to manifest within our garden cultural community environment. In the meantime and in between time, we work with what we have. And so a full open air dirt and clay basketball court Organized by the Youth Brotherhood is what we have. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, what we have does develop amazingly skillful athletic youth. That's right. What 
we're saying is, if you truly want whole life change, you will have to be the instigating factor of whole life change in your thoughts, your attitude, your values, your behavior, and your beliefs. Otherwise, all that you will manifest is that same state of consciousness into the next generation and carry that with you wherever you go. And out of that will manifest the same thing that you call yourself running away from. It is time for change. Within our glorious beliefs, we must take the nature of energy necessary for change, holistic living change, and give it to our youth. Ooh, you know we got the feeling about the money back Resurrecting the sacred ancestral Earth's on a track We're the feeling about the money back